Hey guys, it's Melinda. Um, if you're wondering what's on my nose right now, it's a hickey from my husband. Tell me why. Make it make sense. I don't understand. Anyways, he said he didn't think I was gonna leave a mark. He was just being stupid. And now I have this on my face. That's not the point of the video. So in today's video, I am going to be brush styling my wavy hair. So as you can see, I have a very loose wave to my hair. It's like 2A, 2B ish on a good day but i saw this video on tiktok and it has like 1.6 million views of this girl styling her hair with a brush where she actually like well let me just insert the video so this is the video and as you can see she's like wrapping the hair around the handle of the brush so i want to give this a try and see if it'll work on my wavy hair or not i'm going to be using the denman brush i don't know what brush she's using here i don't know if this is going to be like if this is going to work or not because this handle is kind of weird but it's kind of the only brush have unless I want to use like my paddle brush which if this is like not working maybe I'll get that one out and try it I thought I had the be hairful brush but I don't yeah so that's what I'm going to be doing I am going to go ahead and hop in the shower wash my hair and then I'll be back on camera to try this technique out okay guys so I just got out of the shower um this is a shampoo and conditioner I use I'm gonna put it up on the screen I am using oh my gosh I thought something was on fire I need more protein in my hair so that's why I'm using the shampoo and then this conditioner is just like really good it's not too heavy I wanted like a little bit of lighter product because I think that that's gonna help my hair kind of bounce up and hold the curl hopefully that's my theory also I do have a discount code with Umberto Giannini so if you want that, I'll have it either on the screen or in my description box. I'm obsessed with their products. I just wanna show you guys all the products that I'm using in case you want to try this whole routine out, but I'm gonna start with the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap. So this has, excuse me, please focus. This has a lot of protein in it. So I've been noticing that my hair is like kind of coming out. I'm not sure if it's like postpartum hair loss or if like what's happening, but um, I did do the strand test on my hair and I definitely noticed that it needed protein. If you hear squealing in the background, that's my baby. She's on her play mat. Yeah, her love every play mat, which I will also have linked down below. It's amazing. Love that. It keeps her entertained all freaking day. But anyways, okay, so I'm putting this just like midway down and then on my ends for a little bit of extra moisture since that is protein I want to balance it out I'm going to use this um Shea Moisture Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In so I do about three to four pumps scrunch that into my ends I'm actually not going to brush style right this second I'm going to plop for a little bit because I think it's going to work better on my hair if I do it on damp hair as opposed to this like sopping wet hair so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to plop my hair and then I'll be back on camera to brush style after about 10, 15 minutes. Actually, I'm not gonna plop, I'm just gonna wrap my hair up because I feel like if I plop, it's not gonna dry as quickly. So, um, a little hack, if you have long hair, take your t-shirt and like open it up and put your hair inside of it. This always works, my hair is too long for most t-shirts, it doesn't get it all, until I started doing this. So I put my hair inside, I don't know if y'all can see that, but I put it inside of the t-shirt and I do it like this instead and it actually holds all of my hair so okay now I'll be back in like 10 to 15 minutes okay you guys I am back I've done my makeup so oh my gosh first of all really quick lipstick recommendation you guys I have really fair skin and lipstick always looks way too like saturated on me this is the wet n wild made for mauve high shine brilliance lipsticks so good obsessed okay anyways let's do my hair all right so again all i have in it is a leave-in conditioner actually two leave-ins technically um maybe i should section my hair yeah okay i need to hurry because someone's on their way to my house and i don't want to film when they're here and it's almost rosie's nap time can y'all see me also i am going to be diffusing my hair if the person who's on their way gets here may have to finish filming his voiceover so i'm going to take my brush and you want to do it upside down actually y'all hold on this is not a tutorial <laughs> i forgot i don't know what i'm doing okay and then because you well i'm doing it upside down because you want to wrap it around the handle Oh my gosh, my hair is too long. Frick. Well, now I'm stuck. What do I do now? Is that it? And then she like unwrapped it though. What the heck is even the point then? <gasps> oh, maybe. <gasps> so 
wait, shut the heck up. Hold up. Is this actually gonna freaking work on my hair? Also, I am brushing away from my face. Wait, let me post for a thumbnail. That's a good thumbnail, right? Oh my gosh, if this freaking works. Wait. Okay, it's kind of awkward. I feel like I'm not doing this right, but like close enough, you know what I'm saying? <gasps> wow. Hold on. Should I be like adding stylers as I go? No, I'll do it after I finish this side. That's what I'm gonna do. OMG. If this works, I'm gonna freak out. All right. Blown. Like, okay, I've used a Denman brush before. I'm gonna try a bigger section, honestly, because I'm in a rush. But I've used a Denman brush before to just like brush my hair out and kind of flick the end out. But I've never rolled it up the handle like this. Oh, oh frick, oh frick, I'm tangled, I'm tangled. All right, now I'm just gonna. Oh, here it is. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Okay, um, wow, what in the frick? It's working. Oh yeah, this is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Mousse. Obsessed, it's like my new favorite styler. I'm gonna gently just like do this. Is this called something? It's kind of glazing, I guess, but I'm like doing the lightest touch because I don't want to smush my curls. This gives such good hold though, like. Rosie agrees. She says mom's hair has been looking bomb. Oh my gosh, you guys. Literally, what? Look at these curls. Rosie shook. Okay, doing the opposite side is going to be interesting. All right, so maybe if you brush it down. Ow. Oh. Ow, oh, that one's stuck. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh gosh, my hair is like drying out a little bit. Freaking freak. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Okay, my hair is drying out a little bit, so I'm just going to add some of the styler. Oh, that was too much. Shocker. Oh, does anyone else use way too much mousse every freaking time? Literally, what do I do with this? Oh my gosh, so wasteful. Oh, such a waste. At least it's a drugstore product. Fine. Okay, I really might have to go get something to keep my hair damp. Also, this handle is working perfectly well, so that's sweet. Oh, can she talk? She'll be four months old very soon. All right, just a little. Boop, she's in her room by herself just talking. So I'm gonna go, look, you guys, this is literally insane. What? Um. Okay, I'm gonna go get a spray bottle and I don't know if I'm gonna do the rest off camera. We'll see, just in case though. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. The spray bottle is actually right here, so it's fine. Just a little, oh my gosh. I better add enough freaking product because this is like really working and if I don't apply enough product, it might get frizzy or fall out. So I do want to go ahead and part my hair how I'm going to wear it. Which way do I wear it? This way? Sorry, it's getting dark, you guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do on this side is I'm going to add a little bit of a gel first. And then I'm going to style. I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm going to add a little bit of this Aussie Headstrong Volume Gel. Love this stuff. I'm going to do praying hands. Trying to wait. Crap, did I already do that piece? Oh my gosh, what a mess. All right, my hair's a little harder to brush out with the gel in it, which I was kind of worried about, but we're here now. All right, I'm gonna add some mousse. Gosh, that felt like a lot. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Oh, shiz, that was really a lot. Okay, I'm just gonna put the rest on the back of my hair. Oh yeah, the back feels so frizzy. I should have gone the gel first on the back too, but you live and you learn. Wow, I'm getting so quick at this. I'm amazing. Oh gosh, I have a little tail. No bueno, but I don't have time to fix it. Oh crap. I probably should have split this into two sections on top. Oh, freaking nuggets. Oh no, I think I need to redo that piece. Nah. Ah! I'm like pulling pieces from another section. Okay guys, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hover diffuse. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm gonna pull all my sections forward again. Give them one more scrunch. Oh wait, another thumbnail opportunity. Give everything another scrunch. I'm not gonna lie, these bottom pieces are kind of coming apart, but we're not done yet, so we're gonna see. These front pieces look phenomenal though. All right, 
I'm gonna hover diffuse probably until dry or at least until I get a cast and then I'll be back with my finished results. Okay you guys, Rosie's napping so I have to be a little bit quiet and um, my neighbors are mowing their lawn. So if you hear that, I'm sorry. But my hair is fully dry now. So as you can see, these front pieces held the curl really, really well. Um, I do have a gel cast though so I do need to scrunch that out and I have a little bit of a fear that when I scrunch it out, these pieces might kind of fall apart to be honest because um, that's what's happened in the past with finger rolling but yeah these front pieces like I said held together really well the back pieces not so much they're pretty stretched out um, that could either be because I didn't put the gel in that added a lot of that extra hold like I did to these front pieces or it could have been because my hair was maybe um, too dry not really sure but I'm gonna go ahead and scrunch this out Oh my gosh, it's looking like it might stay. What? I didn't, ow my eye. I did not think it was going to stay once I scrunched it out. Okay, I'm going to pull these pieces apart. You don't want to do that while your hair is wet, but now that it's dry. Oh my gosh. I don't know like how small of sections to do. Um, it did take quite a bit for my hair to dry though. Like I was diffusing for a long time, probably because these curl combs are so big. My hair is so curly. Shut up. I cannot believe this worked. Oh, can you guys see it? <gasps> Look at that. Are you kidding? It literally looks like I curled that with a curling iron. I think if I do this again, I'll do um, some pieces curling towards my face and not do all of them away from my face. That will kind of help give this a little bit more, I don't know, it'll just look a little bit better, I think. So, um, freaking wow, this worked so well. I'm just gonna shake my roots out. Okay, you guys, so I'm actually um, nursing Rosie. This is her noggin. You guys, I, honestly did not think that this was gonna work out seriously like i am so shocked this looks so pretty my hair feels really really soft too and it literally looks like i heat styled it i can't believe this worked i will say the one con is that i don't have a lot of volume but i feel like if i brushed it a little bit differently that i could maybe get some volume next time but overall this technique worked so well i am curious to see if these are like gonna hold up throughout the day or what but they definitely feel like they're going to like when i tried this technique with finger rolling and diffusing it fell out right after i scrunched out the gel cast so the fact that it's even holding this well really gives me high hopes so if i try this technique again i'm just gonna make sure that i apply the gel before i start brushing it out just to give me a little bit of extra hold and then once i do the like brushed out curl then i'm gonna apply my mousse because um the sections that i did that with they definitely turned out a whole lot better so yeah i definitely recommend trying this technique have you guys already tried this out is this how you like normally style your hair or do you want to try it out now um definitely let me know down below because this worked so well you guys my hair is not this curly i am literally shocked anyways 10 out of 10 would recommend so it's actually been a couple hours and i have my hair like kind of pulled back with my glasses because i'm liking how it's looking a little bit better but i just want to update you the curls are still holding really well and i actually feel like it's starting to look even more like i curled it with a curling iron but it looks really really pretty it's looking so nice we really like it so it did not fall out not completely at least i do think my ends look like the tiniest bit stringy but overall I still really like this technique. That completes this video, you guys. If it was helpful or if you enjoyed it, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to. And follow my Instagram and my wavy hair Instagram for more content. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.